This week, we've been paying tribute to our nation's heroes, the men and women who have served in our armed forces. And tonight, we take a look at some of the programs and services around the state that are aimed at supporting our veterans. Here's New Center, Maine's Samantha York. When I was 20, I, I wasn't at home. I wasn't working a part-time job. I was, I was in the Marine Corps in, in Okinawa, Japan. Now at 25, Brenda Lopez has traded her camis for civilian clothes and is focused on a new mission, college. And that's a little bit intimidating, like, wow, I've been out of school for over four years. I really hope that this goes well. Hoping to study social work at the University of Southern Maine, Lopez says she quickly found the Veterans Service Center. I don't think I would have been able to apply to USM without their help. They just made it so much easier. The team helped her navigate her GI Bill benefits and enroll in classes, something she now gets to do for other veterans as the program's president. I've talked to a couple of veterans. They do say that it is a little difficult going back in, but you just kind of have to throw yourself out there and just accept the challenge to continue your education. Last year, 400 veterans received assistance through USM's Veterans Service Center. Their goal is to provide support and help as many vets as possible earn their degree. Historically, there's been no system, no person, no organization that helps you become a civilian again. Uh, and so really what we hope to do is just be there during that transition and that process. PTSD is really treated across the continuum of care at VA Maine. As the PTSD clinical team lead for the VA, Naomi Ryder too acts as a missing piece for veterans, specifically when it comes to their mental health and post-traumatic stress disorder. People come to us and, you know, complain about symptoms like nightmares or anxiety um, or these intrusive memories of their time in combat. So far in 2021, more than 5,000 veterans in Maine have reached out to the VA specifically for help surrounding PTSD. Ryder says starting the conversation can be the hardest part, but it's a conversation worth having. I know that it's a really challenging thing to do and people often wait um, decades to reach out for help, but it's never too late to do that. Part of why I love this work so much is I get to see the impact that it has on people's lives. I get to see their lives change and really improve. If you or a vet you know is curious about services or programs in your area, the Maine Bureau of Veterans Affairs website is a perfect place to start. It has an interactive map of what's offered around the state, making it easy for vets to find something that works for them. Back at USM, Lopez says she's beyond thankful for finding her support system and she hopes others find theirs too. I wasn't really around other veterans and I, you definitely feel like a hole in your heart, you, you miss them. So working here definitely filled that hole up and it just feels more amazing. That's Samantha York with that story. We've posted links to these resources on our website and mobile app.